another beautiful day in the world of anime fighting simulator and we are back on the noob account it's time to master another power in our power mastering series and today we're mastering the quirk of course if you miss any of the other episodes where we master every power we already did ourselves of course the pyrokinesis we did ourselves the grimoires and a lot of other stuff so if you want to check it out they're on the channel right now so let's get this started if you want to see more videos be sure to hit subscribe and ding dong the notification bell for more videos every single day if you've done that go comment down below hashtag pink army let's get this going and enjoy the video hey guys what's up place here welcome back to another video guys they're back in roblox ma flying simulator for another video today guys we are back mastering some more powers inside of the game of course if you guys don't know what this series is we are testing every single power there is right now available from most common to the rarest there is in the game and we're going for one like special tier at the same time so for example we're going to do like a video on all stands we already did one on paracanesis we did one on cognates we did one on the grim wars and today of course we are following up with the works at the end if we have done every single power i can give you guys a top list of every power in the game so you guys don't have to watch every video but get yourself one condensed video of a top list like a tier list where i go judge every power in a row and then you know which powers you can have to get and which one once you can just totally skip and save a lot of chikara on so today guys like i said we're doing the work so this one's gonna be quite interesting i have not used the quirks that much of course as well we are testing them in a pvp and pve scenario so we know how how good they are in both scenarios so if you are a pvp -er, you know which ones you get and of course if you're a pve -er, you know which ones to get as well so we're gonna get started we're gonna replace our quirk and hopefully we're gonna get ourselves belly laser no we're getting ourselves cremation okay i'm gonna keep on rolling until i get belly laser because i really want to check out what belly laser does i've never used this quirk so what is really cool as well like i some powers i've never used for example like a lot of stands i have never touched so it's gonna be really cool to see in this series like every power because i'm pretty sure not everyone has tested every single power order is in the game so it's pretty useful for you guys as well so uh, like we have been surprised for example by the uh electricity park because it's like a lot better than for example the severed universe which is really cool so we're starting off with belly laser is the first one so we got ourselves belly laser we're gonna sell the laser propel and the belly explosion so let's go check out how it's gonna work so first off we have the z ability belly laser okay it didn't even do any damage is it where i'm aiming or is it auto aim so i'm gonna a i'm gonna look that way and i'm gonna aim this way it is where your mouse is so you have to be aiming a little bit let's see does it work mid air is gonna be the question so let's use that yes it does it's a very short animation very very short so you can use this of course in combination with the q and e because it is mid air but you know i think something else will be better so let's just see how the x one is gonna be so this the z is, is pretty straightforward is the x ability is gonna be okay it's okay i have to read that one so use a laser that will prepare you to the chosen direction and cause damage at the same time so let's see is it gonna be able to damage it probably just does damage backwards but this could be good for bossing i guess so because she like it's sort of a dash through i wonder how much damage she does i cannot really see it on these dummies let me try it like this way okay it, it's really hard to hit. maybe it will be a lot easier in bossing so that is that then we have ourselves the c ability Ooh, a nice giant pushback damage okay so of course again this is not really let me see if it goes as she but where the mouse is no just goes straight so the pvp is probably like around like a four out of ten it is a nice aoe you can aim it with your mouse you can use it midair so it's not super useless but it has no auto aim and no giant explosion that you can aim as well so i don't like it like like a four out of ten so let's see how it is on bosses of course for every boss we summon marco because he helps us out with some damage buffs etc so you have to take that into account so first off we have the belly laser this does a measly 15 damage still better than some of the grim wars we had yesterday so if you guys missed that video go check it out right now and then we have ourselves the dash true this is not a safe dash true sadly and it doesn't I, I don't think it does damage it says it does damage while passing through but it's not doing damage at all did that do damage still no damage okay so i probably this x ability is kind of buggy or bugged as a whole so don't use this one now we have ourselves the c ability this is the giant pushback and it doesn't do that much damage either uh i i guess you can use the c ability with shift lock and then you know you just 
press that and it does some AoE damage. Uh, and you know, it's it's not too bad because like you get pushed back. Actually, that's a very big AoE. And there we go. You can probably use this. I don't know if... Okay, let's see. Does it have like incredible range? Can I hit it from here? No, it has a very short range. So it's not an ideal. I'm not going to go ahead and use this power to kill the boss because that's going to take ages. So with this Z ability, it's probably possible to kill the boss. But I would say it's around like a 5 out of 10 for bossing. It's not that great. It's not super horrible because, of course, you can use the midair strategy with it. But, you know, there's a lot of better things out there. So let's go over to... Oh! So we, yeah, let's do it. Let's do Hellflame. We're going to go from the most common to the most rare. Of course, again, guys, this series has proved me so many times that the rarest ability is not most of the time the best one. So it doesn't matter, guys. You don't have to quickly quit the video after this one because we get Hellflame. Uh, like all the other ones normally surprise me big quite a lot. So Hellflame is equipped right now. We got ourselves the Fire, f the Flash Fire Fist, the Hell Spider, and the Prominence Burn. Okay, let's see how those are going to be in a PvP scenario. So we got ourselves first. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. That's a very nice one. That looks really cool as well. That is the Z ability. Let's see. Can we use it midair? Is it going to go aim downwards? It is beautiful. That's always very nice to see. It does no tick damage, but maybe the X ability can change that. So the Z ability is no tick damage. Let's see the X ability, the X ability. Boom. Ooh, giant AoE cone. Very good. But I am stuck. I cannot move. So that's really bad for bossing. It's a bit better for PvP, but still. Okay, I need to see. Can I use this mid-air and aim it? And I can aim it, so that's not bad at all. But again, I am stuck. People can snipe me out of the air like it's nothing. So I would not recommend the X ability. So the Z ability right now seems the best one because it's just, you know, you can just use it and then can go away. So, ooh, the Z ability has to save it. It has to save it or otherwise, like, again, like I said, the best thing, the rarest one doesn't mean that it's the best uh, as a power. So... C. It is a gigantic AoE, and this is always very, very good for PvP. You can drop down, and you can just hit anything. You don't have to aim. It's one of those things, like, if it's giant enough as an AoE, it's good for PvP. So, let's squeeze it again. Is it gonna hit absolutely everyone? Yes, it is. Again, so it, it has a little bit of a stun at the end, but I don't think that's bad. So, I would give this probably, like, a solid... 7.5 out of 10 for pvp because you have yourself a long range shot if you really want to snipe someone with a z ability oh it actually doesn't go it doesn't just quite reach but you know you get a little bit closer and you have the giant drop down aoe so that's not too bad but something that is good at pvp can it as well good be in pve okay let's go test that out we have this marker out we have ourselves the demon fox let's use first this ability it's gonna do only me actually that does like 38 damage it's not too bad so that is pretty decent Again, what we can do, though, is we can go double jump, press the X ability, and because we are stuck so long in the air, we can press all the other ones. And at the end, we can... Ooh, oh, I think it's very long, though. It's very long. It does decent damage. It does decent damage, but you have to make sure that... Okay, yeah, that's still, that's still cooldown. Okay, the X ability is not that great. I will be honest. It has such a long cooldown, such long animation. You need at least probably three or four spells to make up the full duration that you're in the air. So, ooh... That gets some minus points. But, of course, the C ability can save it. How much damage is it going to do? So, we're at 759 right now. Do some good damage. Boom, AoE. Of course, we're going to get hit for uh, two hits. And uh, that did, like, 80 damage, I think? Yeah, like, 80 damage. That's not too bad. But I would say that the other ones are a little bit easier. A little bit better to hit. You know? Ah, uh, this, is, this is a hard choice. I think Hellflame gets probably a 6.5 for bossing. It has all the tools it needs to have, like giant AoEs, uh, mid-airs, uh, like decent damage. But all the stun lugs, I think, bring it down by quite a lot. Because, of course, uh, like more NPCs, like more bosses are going to have like AoE attacks, which you want to dodge. You don't want to be stuck in the air all the time. So I would probably say the Z ability is going to be the best ability to use. Or the X if you have like a lot of keys to press. Like if you have like four abilities, probably at least to press at the same time. Otherwise, I know it's not going to be that great. So let's go on to the next one. We'll probably get to like cremation or something. We get half hotel of cold. Okay, we're going to go in the middle for all of them. So let's test out this one. We got some half hotel of cold. 
Bolt. We got ourselves the Ice Spikes, Fire Beam, and Ice and Fire Shield. Okay. Let's see what this is going to be. Is it going to do good damage or not? So, we have ourselves a scenario of the Z ability. Boom. Oh, okay. Slow traveling. And it seems that this is going to be a ground ability. So, I'm going to use a midair. Let's see if it's going to go down. No, it just goes straight. So, this is not a good ability for PvP. So, and for PvE as well. They're not that great because you have to stand still, it seems. Can I, can I move? Oh, I can move immediately. So, that's... Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. So, we got that one. Then we have ourselves the X ability. It's probably going to be the same ability, but fire. Yes, it is. Okay. It does do burn damage. Tick damage is really good for bossing. So, that's a good sign already. Can we use this midair? Aim it. No, it goes straight. So, that's bad for PvP. But it seems that it has a PvP ability. Creates a field of ice that will freeze players in place and coat them the arrows in flame. So, let's first use a midair. It is, of course, going to be in the air. Okay, 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 okay. So, nothing is targetable from the air. So, that's pretty bad. But let's use it over here. Boom. Very short cooldown as well. Very short cooldown. Boom. It does some AoE damage. Freeze them. And then fire damage. Ooh. Okay. And as well, I want to quickly check. Am I stuck? No, I can use this. And then lure the boss over it. Ooh. This is going to be very interesting. Um, This could be good for, uh, a good court for PvP. You can, again, drop down. They are frozen immediately. If you do that, of course, I did that a little bit too early. But they are frozen. Then they are burning. And because of the cooldown, I can almost immediately use myself another power afterwards, which is really good. So, I would rate this probably a solid a solid 6.5. It's not super amazing, but it does the job. You know, it does the job. We know that freezes don't work on bosses, so let's see how this is going to turn out. I'm going to use the C ability, because this one is the most interesting. It does like a 23 damage on that. And then the fire. Ooh, okay. That brought it up to 885. So, 115 damage from one attack. And I just have to make sure that the boss goes over the fire. So, I have to be a little bit thoughtful of what I'm doing. So, I know that the boss is going to go here. So, I'm going to be able to do this. And I'm going to be able to go turn around. And the boss is going to walk over the fire once again and get some damage. So, it, this 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 quirk, this quirk requires a bit of planning. But it's not bad at all. It does its job. Like, you just kite around and he takes a lot of damage. This is probably right now, at the moment, the best quirk we've seen so far for Boston. Because it just does the job right. Like, if you just dodge around. You can see, right now, he's already at 400 HP left of 1,000. So, it's pretty good. So, uh, let's as well test ourselves the X ability. Because, of course, this one is really easy to aim and do. So, let's use that one. Boom. That does... Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Okay. And you definitely want to use this in shift lock. Let's use it again. Boom. Because this is straight aim. Look at that damage. That is crazy. Because there's a damage over time tick. And the cooldown is very short as well. Wow. Like I said, guys. If you if the quirk is the rarest one, doesn't mean it's the best one. Because this quirk, Hot of Hot Cold, uh, is like literally tracking the competition right now. This is crazy. That is insane. And there we go. Just like that. Boss has been defeated. That gets a solid 8.5 for me. Probably even like close to a 9. I didn't expect this to be this good for a 16%, you know, word. I'll give it. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, we're going to one for everything, so we're saving overall and cremation till last. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and equip the quirk. Ooh, we're looking spicy. So, we got ourselves Kick Smash, Dexter Smash, and Carolina Smash. Okay, okay, okay. Let's use them right now. Are they auto-aim or not? It's gonna be the question. No, it is this one. The kick is where your mouse is going, okay? So, very, sh very short, very short, uh, what's it called? Cooldown on the kick. Really good. It as well as pass through, so it seems that you can hit multiple people with it. Like, you have to be a little bit skillful with this ability. I like it. That's not bad at all. And we have this, the X ability. This is gonna be another, ooh, gigantic AoE, gigantic AoE. Can we use it, of course, midair is the question. And, ooh, pretty long cooldown, but that's fine. No, it's a fat, it's like a, it's like a fat forward AoE. Okay, that's not too great. Then we have ourselves a C ability. This is going to be a dash and a smash, but this could be very similar to the sun style. So this could be a bossing technique. But again, can we use it midair? Is it just going to go where my mouse is? Yes, it is going where my mouse is. It's not a very fast dash. So again, not really a PvP ability. So another like four out of 10 for PvP, but. How is it against bosses? That's going to be the question. Of course, a lot of people like to use these perks for bossing. So let's go use them right now on the fire. The Zed ability is going to do a measly... Actually, 45 damage. Not too bad. 45 damage for an ability you can spam. That's actually not too bad at all. I will take that. 45 nice damage so for we that. Okay. Oh, there's like 1,015 HP. Let's go use the X ability right now. Okay. This, oh, this is where I'm looking. Okay. I thought it would maybe be where my mouse is. But this is where I'm 
looking. So I have to use the shift lock. Boom. Okay, so that was like 50 damage. Not too bad. But I'm excited about this one. That's the best route. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It TP'd me in front of him again? It does a lot of damage. Okay, so 902. Let's use it again. Okay, that's very strange. This is not a good... I thought this was going to be a good ability. But this does like a like 60 damage. Okay, uh, this one's not that great. This one's not that great. It's probably the best ability. It's like the Zed ability. Because you can spam it that often. And it does like quite decent damage. But again, you cannot combo this with air attack. So this is pretty bad. Uh, probably like a 4 out of 10 for me for bossing. 3, 2, 1. Up until now, huh? Half Hot Half Cold is the clear winner of today, but we have two more to go. We have results to get cremation and overhaul. There we go. We get cremation. We're leaving overall for less. I'm super excited. Like, is any of the two going to be overtaking them? Let me know, of course, in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? And, of course, what is your favorite work yourself in Anime Fighting Simulator? Let me know in the comment section down below as well. So, we got ourselves cremation. We got ourselves the Z Fire Burst, the X Dual Flames, and the C Fire Slam. Sounds very promising. Okay. So, we got ourselves the Z ability. It's going to be a giant scale. We can I jump while using it. A lot, a lot of burn damage. Wow. So that's going to be really good for bossing. Um, We got to sell that. No, it goes straight. Come on. Go where? Like, let it go where my mouse is going. Like, it's so much easier that way. Okay, it's fine. So then we have ourselves the X ability. This is going to be old. Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember this one. I remember this one from the PvP fight between me and Bear. I definitely have to do another PvP fight pretty soon. Um, But that's th this one's okay. It's not good for PvP. This, this quirk is very short. Short range. I remember that because I've actually used this in the quirk battle before. And then we have ourselves the AOE, which does burn damage. Probably the best one we're gonna have is gonna be the Z ability, I would say. That's gonna be really good. I should have probably used the Z ability. I've never used the... Uh, I've only used the X and the C ability because I normally re re disregard the Z, but the Z is probably the best one out there. Again, this quirk's not good for PvP. It, it, like, it can do its job, but again, it has no gigantic AoEs. It has no targetable abilities, and you can't even use the midair. So, uh, probably on like 3 or 4 out of 10. It's pretty bad. But can the quirk redeem itself? on the boss. Let's see. We first have the Z ability. It's gonna do... Of course, I have to shift lock it. I forgot about that one. Okay, so we have to shift lock the Z ability. It has quite a long cooldown, but it does. Ooh, okay. Of course, it's taking it's taking it's taking it's taking it. Ooh, a nice 60 damage out front. Not bad at all. So, I would say that that's pretty decent. That probably brings in like a number two spot just because it's burn damage. You can just keep on running away, and it's gonna tick, 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 tick for 60 damage. So, that's actually not bad at all. Then we have ourselves, of of course, the flamethrower. I don't know. Can we use this very well on the boss? If we do like some spinny around tactics, it probably does like a 60 damage only. So we are at 78 right now. Okay, I'm gonna see if it can hit every single power shot. Okay, that's a very long cooldown. Come on. Come on. Hello, can I use my X ability? Is it still resting? Wow. Okay, from 78. We are going... Okay, we have to do some turnarounds. A 78 to... Okay, that does like 40 damage. Okay, that's actually really bad. <laughs> Okay, okay. Like, it, and as well, it has such a long recasting animation. It's not worth using. Okay. The only one we have left is the C ability. So, from 736, we are going to... Okay, it does some burning. 736 to, like, 67. So, it's just not that great. It's not that great. It is very unsafe. I would say the Z ability is pretty decent. This gets, like, a 6.5 out of 10 for me from bossing. It's not ideal, but it gets the job done. And we got ourselves a new power. The multiple bomb spiral shuriken. I'll take it. And there we go. Just like luck work overall the last ability we have not had that many duplicates today so that's actually really really nice the last ability for today guys do you think that overall is gonna take it home today or do you think half hot half hot half cold is gonna be the winner of today's video of course let me know in the comment section down below right now of course if you guys are enjoying today's video hit the like button and subscribe of course if you are new that would be super duper appreciated and of course be looking forward to more of this series because we are covering every power there is in this game so we are going ahead <sighs> And we're going to do it as well, guys. I know, by the way, that there is a lot more quirks, but we have covered every single of the Fighting Pass 4 stuff on separate videos. I didn't really want to put them in this video as well, because there will be so many quirks. If you miss any of the other ones, we've mastered every single other quirk there is. So there are dedicated videos on every power to so the jet and the zero gravity, that kind of stuff. So if you've missed any of them, go check them out. They're on the channel. But without further ado, guys, overall, we get ourselves Rolling Spike, Spike Push, and Spike Pin. Okay. 
So let's go use them right now. Oh, we are looking pretty. Oh, we're looking pretty mad. All right. So we first have. Oh, I, I can say for certainty I've never seen or used this work. I've never, 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 never. So this looks really cool. Let me use it again. So another spike. It seems to hit only one person. Okay. I'm going to use it in the long run. Can we hit them all? Or is it just one person? No. Okay. Everyone gets hit. It's just a little bit buggy. Everyone gets hit. That's, that, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Then we have ourselves the X ability. I'm pretty sure this one does it just goes straight for you. Okay. Um, then we have ourselves the X ability. Let's go use that one right now. It's going to do. Okay. Very long cooldown. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's like an AOE spike. Ooh. And it does some particles afterwards. Does it do something? Raises spikes outwards, which pushes enemies outwards and causes huge damage. Okay. So it's like a back, like a back throw. Not bad at all. That's going to be good for PvP as well. Good for PvP. So we have two giant AOEs and. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So you have a lot of tools to use. Like if, if people are close to you, you can just push them back. You can attack them from a distance. So that's actually pretty crazy already. And it's a very short animation. So let's see the C ability. Is it going to be even crazier? The C ability is going to be a gigantic AOE, which looks like mud. Um, Special spike pin. Stabs players with a rock spike that pins them into position dealing damage. This probably is a stun for PvP. I would say this is probably going to be the best PvP work. It's still not amazing, but it's probably the best one. So I'll give this the first seven of the video because it has so many pins. It has like giant AOEs. It doesn't have any other targeting stuff, you know, but it seems that quirks that just don't have that. So probably the best one around, around the seven. So let's see how it is it for bossing. So he took the PvP spot. Can he take the PvE bossing spot as well? Overhaul is going in against the Demon Firefox. So we first off ever sells. Is it going to go where I'm looking? Yes, it is. Okay, so I need to use my shift lock key. So this is going to do from 1,000 HP. One, one, a pretty long cooldown, actually. Uh, from 1,000 HP to 55. So it's not too great on the damage right there. Again, it is pretty long cooldown. So let's use ourselves the spike AoE. I know we have to go into the center, but maybe if it does enough damage, it's worth using because I can just run through him. Ooh, that did around like another... 55, like a 50 damage, I guess, like from 902 to, yeah, it does 53 damage. Not too bad, but not too crazy either, but you can go run through the boss. Oh, no, okay, it, it doesn't allow me to do that fully, so. Uh, okay, the last one, the steel ability. This can good make up for it. I don't know how this is going to work on him, so we have ourselves around 800 HP. We're going to use the steel ability, and it just, just like a 6 damage. You can see the spike right there. That's not too great. He's not that good for bossing. Ah, I'm sad. Okay, so the best PvP quirk is the one of the worst PvE ones. Probably like a 4.5 out of 10. It could get the job done, but it's going to be very hard and very long. And you're maybe not going to have enough time because of the long cooldown of the Z ability. The X ability and the C ability are not good for the boss. So you're only stuck with the X. With the, with the Z, I mean. And that means you cannot use any midairs. It's not that great. One, there we have it, guys. We mastered every single quirk there is in the game, including the Battle Pass ones. Of course, if you've not seen the Battle past videos go check them they're on the channel they're all separate videos so if you're looking for a specific one they are on there i am surprised that the half hot half cold is going to be the clear winner of today and then of course overall is the best pv ability but if you would want to just rock one quirk half hot half cold is the best one from these lists right now of course they're not the best quirks in total because the uh you know the finding best quirks are extremely good extremely extremely good they're definitely like some a slash s tier powers to use as a whole so if you've enjoyed today's master video what you have to do guys you're gonna have to like today's video no you don't have to but you know we'll be appreciated subscribe if you're new if you want to see more master videos i think the next time we'll probably dive into the sword styles i'm excited for that that's going to be uh, quite a lot of spinning because these bad boys are quite rare so of course if you want to see that subscribe down below ding that notification bell i'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video so i'll say guys take care love you bye thanks so much for watching and of course as well take care